Okay, we're rolling. Hi, I'm going to start these little snippets of videos uh, to share some things from my class. And the first one is how to protect yourself from things like anger and irritation. And I want you to imagine that between yourself and a person, so between you and me, there's this space. And I like to think of this as the decision making space. So if someone says something that you don't like, they insult you, offend you, within this space here, it's the time for you to make a decision. You can take what they said and you can absorb it into your body. You can feel anger, frustration. You can have, you know, your confidence affected by it. Or you could decide instead of um, absorbing it, you're just going to put that down. You're going to acknowledge, yes, this is an angry person. They feel upset today, but it's just not coming into you. And this is different to refusing it because if you're around a negative person and you're like, oh, get away from me. I can't bear negative people. This in itself, you've already accepted it. You've already taken it in and that's why you're having a struggle with it. It's quite different to that. So if there's an alarm going off, and it's irritating you, it's driving you crazy, this is automatic irritation. But let's say you hear an alarm going off and you decide there's a space between you and the alarm. Within this decision-making space, you can decide to take the noise of the alarm, bring it into yourself, get irritated, wound up, be annoyed, or you can accept, yes, an alarm's going off. And this particular practice means that no one has the power over you. And the more you practice it, the more powerful you become. And then you realize you're actually free. So to understand this, the alarm, the person, they cannot make you feel sad or happy. You can only do that yourself. You make yourself sad, you make yourself happy, you make yourself um, angry. So in this moment of bringing it in or putting it down, you have the opportunity to decide when it comes in, I will be angry. So when they, when it automatically comes in, you respond with whatever automatic reaction you have. So this is about taking the power away from the person, taking the power away from the event, putting the power into your hands. So then no one can ever hurt you. No one can upset you. And of course it takes practice. We're human. We're having a human experience, but it's an empowering exercise.